Hello guys and welcome to Coding Corbett. In this video, I will show you how to implement Curve Navigation Bar in your Flutter application. And once I click on any of these navigation icons, you can see the animation, how it appear and how it moves. So before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our content. Now let's get started. Alright, I've already created a Flutter project for this video. Inside the main, we have run app, my app, and inside the my app, we have material app that calls home and home is a stateful widget that has a scaffold inside the scaffold we are setting the background to blue and an app bar with text and we are changing the background color of the app bar and the container of colors blue and double infinity as width and double infinity as height and alignment center and text main screen with some text styling now the first thing we will do we will go to pubspec.yaml and we need to add a library so we will use this library curved animation bar and so i will copy it from here and paste it here and click pop get and wait for it to finish loading all right now what will what i will do i'll go back to the main and inside here i'll create final items is equal to list and const it's a const list. This list will be list of icons, the icons we want to use. So I will use icon icons dot people and I will give it a size of 30 and I will do it four times. This will be person and this will be add and this will be search outline all right now after the list i will create int index is equal to one and we will use this index so whenever we run our app we'll use this index to show or to select first icon in the icons inside the bottom navigation bar now after the app bar in the scaffold i'll specify bottom navigation bar and this would be sorry this would be curved capital C curved navigation bar and inside here I'll specify the items and the items are the items we've created and we can specify an index and this is the index and we can specify on tab and on tab takes integer inside it so we can say for example selected index right and inside here we can for example set state and we can say index is equal selected index all right now we can also we can also specify height for example let's say 70 and we can specify background color so i will specify background color as color dot transparent and you can specify animation duration by default it's I guess 600 let's see it yeah by default it's 600 and you can change that if you like to we can say const duration milliseconds for example 300 and that's it you can specify also animation if you want to I will not specify any other animation now inside here instead of returning some text we will return get selected widget and we will specify the index as the index we have it since we want to navigate to another screen or show another content once the user clicks on any of the icons below so we will do this but before we do it let's go to the lib and new directory and let's create pages for example and inside the pages let's create the first one is the people so let's create people and make this stateless widget and call it people and import material and instead of retaining container we can return column and inside the column we can specify children so we can specify first const text and we can say people 
page and we can change the style for example text style to font size 40 with color colors dot white and we can make it bold font weight all right now we can cut the const from here and paste it here and after the text we can specify size box and give it a height of 100 and after it we can make circle avatar inside the circle avatar we'll give it a child of icon the same icon we will be using for this people page icons dot people and give it a size of maybe 120 and give it a radius of 70 or 80 all right now after that give it side box as height 100 and I will just copy this and paste it sorry paste it down here and let's say people page content and change this to 30 and remove the bold attribute all right now let's also give the column padding property and let's say 24 instead of 8 now let's go back to the main and let's create this function so inside here we would return a widget and let's call it get selected widget and let's say required index or int index all right now here we can specify we can create switch statement on the index and inside it we can say for example case case zero and for that we can create widget widget and we can say here widget is equal to the people we've just created and add const here so it doesn't complain and we can break it here now before we continue let's just create another page of this pages let's call it person or profile and let's just change people to profile and just paste it here paste it here paste it here and change this to person and let's go back to the main and let's say case or copy it let's copy it from here and paste it here and let's say case one and instead of boring you and creating the other two I will just say default here and I will copy this one and paste it here and this actually person or profile and let's keep this as person and after the switch let's return the widget we've created and now let's rerun our app to see how it appears all right now as you can see this is the first index we specify in here it immediately opened on the first index now if i click on people people will appear and if i click on profile profile will appear now once i click on any of those it will stay the same as people because that's the default so that was all thank you guys for watching and if you like the video don't forget to like and comment down below and subscribe for more beautiful content